welcome 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 my dearly beloved brothers and sisters sons and daughters i trust all of you are well and good today and we thank you for all the wonderful comments that you are writing about how you are blessed through this program and uh, we also thank you you are putting into practice how to have your spiritual eyes open but remember one thing build your life on the word of god it must be grounded in the word so that all things revelation or supernatural visitations are grounded and based on the foundation of the word of god and when the word of god is very strongly grounded in your life it will be like a double edged sword to give you that discernment so that the visions that you see you will know it's not from your flesh like what you have been learning from the flesh from god or from the devil all right so speaking of the flesh how was the steak that you had last night well over the barbecue steak is always good all right and the, the flesh was good yes yeah and what did you have? i thought you had turkey no a uh, turkey and grilled onions wow the wow grilled onions were just is that fantastic. your favorite dish well pretty close okay you know when you have delicious dishes like that even while they've been cooked you can smell them right I, yes mm. so that's what we are going to study now the fourth spiritual sensation smell genesis chapter 8 verse 21 is the first time you we read of the word smell like you always say no the first mention yes right where it says the lord smelled the soothing aroma and the lord said to himself i will never again curse the ground on account of man for the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth and i will never again destroy every living thing as i have done so the word smell i looked up in the hebrew it says ruach ruach is to blow that is to breathe or to smell and uh we also read from various other scriptures uh, okay before we go to the scriptures i'm sure you have uh, in your experiences when you have a visitation from the lord he smells yes right yes please share often times when the presence of god comes in powerfully i have that rose of sharon mm mm-hmm. if you've ever smelled one of those mm-hmm. you can smell that presence come in and and uh not always engaged with the seeing so you smell it you know his i mean we know he's there but then you smell that it makes it even more tangible and right it's always interesting to watch people when that happens to see if they're engaging too and so often people are going can you smell you can see him mm-hmm. in the audience mm-hmm. going can you smell that yeah yeah what about you michael that's beautiful the, yeah that, that's probably my favorite mm-hmm. fragrance mm-hmm. is the fragrance of the lord rose No, no the for the lord it's a different how how do you smell it i smell it differently it's it's kind of like a a spice mhm but just a little bit sweet you know it's written in psalms 45:8 all your garments are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia and out of ivory palaces string instruments have made you glad mm-hmm. see myrrh aloes and cassia mixed together is that spice smell oh is that what that is i've mm-hmm. looked for that everywhere to see if i could find something mm-hmm. that was similar but that's beautiful and have you smelled like uh, frankincense yeah frankincense yes mm-hmm. right so the smell of frankincense or roses and now like what uh, michael has just shared all the spices together that it uh, shows the presence of the lord yeah and what i've noticed is when it's the father It's Psalm forty-five eight. Mm-hmm. When it's the Son, it's the Rose of Sharon. When it's the Holy Spirit, it can be a mixture. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's one way to divide them. Well, compart- that's the, that's what's worked for me. Yeah. Them. That's what's worked for me. Now, okay, this is the presence of God that we smell like this—a good smell, right? Like yes. what it says in Genesis eight twenty-one: the Lord smell the soothing aroma. So the presence of the Lord. or the presence of angels or the saints of god brings a soothing aroma mm-hmm. what about the presence of demon spirits vile have you smell that vile ah 
sulfur at the, at the least, but it can be it's even worse than that. Nosity. Or like a decaying body, mm -hmm. if you've ever smelled that. Yes. It's, it's horrible. Mm. Have you? Yes. Um, we went to a, a uh, hospice where people <clears throat> were uh, dying, mm -hmm. and the smell of sulfur was so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But we realized, Gordana and I went there to pray mm -hmm. for someone, and uh, we realized that we were the only ones that could smell it. Mm -hmm. No one else had any uh, knowledge of it, but it was overwhelming. It was overpowering when we went there. Mm -hmm. I just remember three years ago, I was invited to pray for um, almost dying pastor's mother-in-law. So I went to the hospital, stood and looked at her. They, I was told she has terminal four stage cancer. Mm. You know? And she was just haggard, like, like um, like she was not in a sense, right. you know, conscience. So the pastor and his wife were all standing there, mm -hmm. weeping, crying, you know, feeling sad. And I said, all right. But I noticed one thing. From the time that I came and stood there, there was a kind of a pungent smell. A pungent smell. And uh, I thought it was coming from her body, you know. And um, I pulled the pastor aside and asked him, Pastor, what do you smell? He said, I don't smell anything. Mm. Ah. And uh, I think my nephew was with me now, so I asked him, what do you smell? He said, no, I only smell hospital smell. So then I knew it was not from her body, mm. but it was a spiritual smell right. that was coming out from her. It was a, it was a pungent smell mm. that really wanted to make you get out of that place. You know? So then, okay, after that, they asked me to pray. Supernatural prayer to get a heal. As soon as I closed my eyes to pray, I saw the heavens open. And I saw the Saint Moses stand at the edge of heaven. He looked down at me and he asked me, What are you doing there? This woman has been cursed and she be handed over to the devil for the destruction of her flesh. And that's where her end will be. Get out of the place. Mm. <clears throat> I shivered and trembled, you know, because the look on the face of the Saint Moses was so stern, like they were very upset why I should be, I was there. Wow. I shouldn't have been there, you know. So um, now I, I'm in a quandary because yeah, you need to pray, you know. So finally I just prayed a, a simple prayer and uh, I left abruptly. So I told the pastor I'm leaving, and he walked me down. So we, were, we came to the coffee shop, and uh, he, he looked at me and asked me, tell me one thing, what was wrong there? Because he noticed I was stumbling in my prayer, <clears throat> you know? So then I told him. He then said something about his mother-in-law that confirmed all that. Hmm. She said she was the most bitterest woman. She very angry woman, unforgiving woman, and kept all the bitterness, anger, unforgiving inside her. Mm. Wow. And always accusing everyone for every bad thing. So that's what happens. So she, through her anger and bitterness, she brought these things upon yes. herself? Yes. You know, the scripture says, if you will not forgive another, God will not forgive you. Right? Right? Very much. Mm. So, all, I mean, more than the others, smell is discernment. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned about uh, smelling the smell of Rose of Sharon. Here in Song of Solomon's chapter 2, verse 1, it says, I am the Rose of Sharon and the Lily of the Valleys. Yes. So that, that's the Lord coming. Any other experiences you want to share about uh, smell? About smell, well, it's we've experienced that a lot. We experienced it in Singapore when the Lord appeared during the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a lot of people experience the smell of roses, the rose of Sharon, and I, and I remember that smell from there. Also in a lot of churches that we visited, sometimes when uh, I've seen people minister, sometimes it brings a, a wonderful aroma, but other times it brings a stench. Mm. So it kind of gives you, like you said, discernment. Okay, what is really flowing right now? 
So when you yeah. smell stench, yes. what did you discern? Well, I discerned that uh, while well, one particular um, situation was uh, Gordana and I, during an offering that was being mm -hmm. taken, Gordana says, do you smell that smell that just happened when he s announced the offering? I said, yeah, it smells really, uh, it's a vile, oh. unclean smell. And uh, she said, I don't think we're supposed to sow into this offering because there's something not right with this. Mm -hmm. And so we, we didn't. We just uh, allowed that to be the discernment that mm. there was something wrong. A thought is coming to my mind to ask you a question. You know, uh, you mentioned in one of your books about this extraordinary uh, translation that you had a part in where you were ministering in a church where the portal opened and the believers could walk through the portal and come out in another yes. way, right? Yes. During that uh, event, did you smell anything? Can you remember? It was a pleasant breeze. Mm. You know, like a spring breeze, pleasant. Yes. pleasant. Mm -hmm. So, with, was there a smell with a breeze? Just like a spring day. Okay, uh, when you, so there was a smell, yeah, right? Yeah, it was pleasant. Mm. And then all this translation took place. Yeah. That was amazing, no? Was that very early in your life, in your ministry? In that walk? Um, early in my understanding of translocation, mm. yeah. So the Lord gave you an amazing experience. Yes. That catapulted you into all this. Uh, that was part of it, yeah. Mm? Wonderful. So let's go to the fifth mm. uh, sense or sensation, touch. Like, you know, when we... Touch in the natural, we can feel something, right? So in the same way, there is a sensation of touch for the spirit, hands, legs, and everything. And Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 3, He stretched out the form of a hand and caught me by a lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between earth and heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem. So, Two things can be seen in this scripture. One, he saw a hand come out and caught hold of his hair and he could physically feel some hand catching hold of his lock of hair. I'd, and I'm going by that, I don't think uh, Ezekiel had hair like yours or his. He must have had hair like mine. He probably did. Probably. <laughs> because if you touch your hair, nothing can be hold. <laughs> Nothing well, to grab okay. onto. <laughs> Must be like my hair, just grab by the hand, <laughs> pull him out. <laughs> and he felt he felt himself leaving too. Yes, right. So there's multi-sensory mm -hmm. touch. We'll come to that when we talk about translation. Okay, so <clears throat> that's a thing there. And in Acts chapter 12, verse 7, And behold, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared, and a light shone in the cell, and he struck Peter's sight. And woke him up saying, get up quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. So for someone to strike the hand, there must be a feeling. Like in the, like in the natural. Yes. Right? Very I hope much. you're not offended, you know. No. no I, Shall I strike more? A okay. couple more times, yeah. <laughs> See, there's a feeling there. Yeah. That's exactly what Peter had felt. Have you? Actually, I have. I felt the, I felt the hand of the Lord. How many times? Oh, I don't, I, I don't recall a number, but I f felt his hand come up. When was the first time? And I felt him touch me on the head mm -hmm. to, to bless me. Uh, did you see the hand? I saw Jesus completely with his hand. Okay. Yeah. So how was the feeling when he touched you? It was like a real hand? It was like a real hand, mm -hmm. but there, obviously there was an electric mm -hmm. impartation. I don't, I don't know how to describe that, but mm -hmm. it, yeah. What about you? I had experience during prayer, mm -hmm. hands on my shoulders or hands on my head. But uh, one of the most interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> occasions I had was during a Did vision. Did he touch you and you thought it was no, God No, no, he wrestles no, with no. angels. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this particular case, uh -huh. the Lord was bringing a correction to me about mm -hmm. allowing things into my home mm -hmm. and not being aware that they brought a spiritual weight with them. Okay. And so... I, in a vision, an angel 
was giving me an instruction, mm. and when he had finished giving me the instruction about guarding over the atmosphere of my home, mm. he took his hand and he smacked me on top wow. of the head. In the front? In the front the of back. my head, right okay. here. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why in the world did he do that? And the Lord said, I want you to remember this. Oh. <laughs> and I did. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you thought he deserved it? <laughs> Could have been, but I mean, make your point. Bam. So, no, yeah. tell, tell us something That's about funny. the strike, yeah. the smack. Is this how you felt? Yes, I the felt sound? it was a it was a very and a sound. Uh -huh. It's I watched the angel. He's standing before me and he's looking at me like mm -hmm. I almost felt like he was saying, "Are you paying attention?" Mm. And he just took his hand and he smacked me in the head and it like jarred me. I felt it. Mm -hmm. I heard the sound. I felt his hand, mm -hmm. and then um, that was it. Then I then I was praying about that later, and the Lord said, oh, I, 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 "This is." something that you won't forget. I'm sure. So. <laughs> Reminds me of Back to the Future, McFly. Anybody there? <laughs> but it was an interesting... I, I like his story where the angel thing. came in and literally wrestled with him. And okay, he, tell us that. He couldn't get away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, physical feeling. This yeah. was uh, mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. All of a sudden, I heard, Mike, Mike. And I'm thinking, there's no reason for a man to be in my bedroom mm -hmm. whispering. Oh, what about your son? Wouldn't he have just come and call you? Well, he could, but he was far away in school. He All was right. like 300 miles away or so. So there was no other man in your house? No other man in the house mm -hmm. when I heard this sound. Mm -hmm. So I got like an adrenaline rush, and I leapt out of bed, and I grabbed this man. And okay, a question now. Yes. <laughs> so when you get out of your bed... Was it yes. your physical body you got out or your spirit body that got out? I believe it was my physical body mm -hmm. because I was trying to wrestle him and <clears throat> throw him out the window. Okay. That was my intention. <laughs> so you thought it was a robber? I thought it was, yes, someone So you didn't intentions. know it was an angel? I did not know. So did you successfully throw him out? No. <laughs> no. He stood his ground? He, well, he stood his ground, but not only that, but he was laughing at me. So how long... Did this wrestling took place? It, it literally maybe seven or eight seconds mm -hmm. because I soon realized. Okay, I I hope you don't mind me interrupting. No, 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 please. So when you tried to wrestle with the angel, did he wrestle back, or did he just stood still? No, he put he had his hand on my head, mm -hmm. like and he preventing was, you. He was preventing me, mm -hmm. and I realized that I had no effect on him whatsoever, mm -hmm. nothing. Did you see that angel there, or you just perceived no, his no, presence? No, no, I saw him. I saw all of his features. But you I were not him. able to discern that it was an angel of God? Not immediately, because I was uh, like in a fear response. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I have to protect my family. Mm -hmm. So uh, and when I noticed uh, he was laughing at me, and he wasn't being aggressive against me, he was just holding me. All right, no. Then I let's, discerned. Let's go to that touching part, okay? Yes. So when you wrestle with him, which part of his body did you touch him? I touched his arms, mm -hmm. and I tried, uh, very mm -hmm. first, I tried uh, putting my hands around his mm -hmm. waist. So I put my hands around his waist initially. And you tried to grab and throw him? I did. Like I, in a real I, wrestling? Yes. Right? So there was the tangible experience of touch. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tan completely tangible. Mm -hmm. I, I had no clue when it first started. So when you touched the angel, was he like flesh and blood? He was, mm. yes. But he was, he was, you know, once my, once my um, senses kind of caught up and mm. the fear was starting to dissipate, then uh, I realized, okay, he's seven feet tall. He's mm. huge. He's powerful. He's <laughs> laughing. He has a smile like on you. his face. And I realized, oh, my goodness, this is an angel. I've attacked an <laughs> angel. <laughs> And, He's uh, a cousin to Jacob. <laughs> He's... It was it was su such an overwhelming experience, but you know the angel was so kind and generous in his response mm -hmm. to my foolishness. I'm sure. And uh, it was just an amazing encounter. But I, it was totally hands-on, physical. <laughs> uh, was it the only time? No. 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 You no. didn't learn from your lesson. I didn't. <laughs> so what happened the second time? 
Okay, the second time uh, we were in the Virgin Islands ministering. Mm -hmm. We were sleeping at a pastor's house. I was praying when all of a sudden I felt someone physically jump on me. Oh. And uh, so I, I looked up and there was this mm -hmm. angel that he had a big smile on his face mm -hmm. and he's trying to provoke me to wrestle with him. And I didn't, and I was tired from a long day and I looked at him, I said, what are you doing? And he laughed and I just, I just kind of, uh, I couldn't have thrown him off, but he just laughed and then he left. And I, I, after that experience, I thought, you know, after the first time, Maybe the angels, they have a sense of humor, and they think... They do. And they think, they do. this Michael thinks he can wrestle with us. It's very <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right. So that's wonderful. So that uh, proves the sensation of touch. And the final sensation that we're going to talk about is emotions. Spiritual emotions. Genesis chapter 15, verse 12. Now when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and behold, terror and great darkness fell upon him. And then in Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 8, As they were striking the people, and I alone was left, I fell on my face and cried out, saying, Alas, Lord God, are you destroying the whole remnant of Israel? by pouring out your wrath on Jerusalem. So in the first instance, the emotion was fear, terror. In the second incident, the emotion was one of sorrow and mm. feeling sad and crying. And we find another similar incident like this. I think this is most beautiful than the other two. Revelation chapter 5 verse 4, where the apostle John was in heaven in the spirit, and it says, Then I began to weep greatly, because no one was found worthy to open the book or to look into it. So here we find another emotion of weeping. So there is a, a sensation of emotions mm -hmm. that are involved, that the spirit has emotions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Have you have any experience along this line? Um, the terror of God, joy of the mm -hmm. Lord, uh, okay. the love of God, yeah. Absolutely. What about Michael? Yes, yes. Uh, terror and also the, the joy when the Lord mm -hmm. hugged me once. I was, uh, I was overwhelmed with emotions. Mm -hmm. And then once when an angel came, I think I shared the story earlier, uh, the terror mm. of the Lord came upon right. me and I couldn't stay in the room. Mm. So this uh, wraps up the study on the emotions or the sensations. So by this we can confirm that there are sensations in the spirit realm where we can feel in, uh, with all our five senses plus the emotions like in the natural. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, now you have studied about feelings, sensations. So the next time you encounter anything like this in the spiritual realm, you'll know that they are genuine and they are real and not just your thinking in your mind. All right? God bless you all. Till we meet again next week.